Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry that I got disconnected. I'm going to share my screen again. I lost internet connection right in the middle of explaining this. Okay. All right, I'm back again. So let me uh, repeat again what I what I was doing here. In this example, you're given the line, the graph of the line, and they ask you, they're asking you to write the equation of the line. Okay. So here you have to write the equation of the line. Remember, before you were given the equation, and from it you were able to come up with the with the graph. Okay. Now they give you the, the graph of the line, but they don't give you the equation. So that's what they want. So the first thing we need to find is a slope. So the equation of the slope is this. This is the formula. Okay. Just let me making sure that this is being recorded. It is. Okay. All right. So what is this? What are Can you do it the other way? Yes, you can, but keep it simple. One thing that you cannot is call this y sub n is almost one. That is wrong. That would be bad. You have to be consistent. If this is x of two, then the, this one has to be y sub two. And the same thing goes for the one here at the bottom. So what is my slope then? Then what is what is uh, y sub two? Y sub two in this case is seven minus the formula is a minus. Now my x of one, my y sub one. Okay, my y sub one. What happened? Something happened here. No, it's being recorded. Yes, I'm sorry that I keep checking because I lost internet connection. All right, so this is seven. Now this is negative. The formula is negative. My y sub 1 is negative 4. So I have to be very careful how I compute this. The x of 2 is 3 minus, again, the formula is a minus. And my x of 1 is negative 6. You see? So now I have to be, I have to multiply this carefully. Let me erase this. I need the space. Um, Remember that you need to take notes as you write this. The formula of the slope is in your book, in your notes. And uh, it's here again. So here it is. So this is 7. Negative times negative is positive. And this is positive 6, 3 minus plus 6. So what is this? 11 over 9. So this is the slope of the line. Very, very weird slope. All right, we're making progress, but we're not done, right? So this is the slope of the line, 11 over 9. Can I simplify them? You can try it, but you won't be able to, because 11 is prime, and 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3, but no, it doesn't simplify. That's it. Now, my goal is to be able to write the equation of a line like this. I already have the slope. Okay. I just need to find that B. Because once I have that B, I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to take one point, either one. It doesn't matter which one you select. And I'm going to move to the other, to the other frame. So I'm going to choose... Uh, 3 and 7. And the slope again, remember that is 11 over 9. So now I need to find my B. How do I do that? 
Well, this is the x and this is the y. So we're going to put them here. So this y becomes 7, 11 over 9 times x. But this x now is 3 plus b. So basically, right now, the only thing that is not known, we call it the unknown, unknown, is the b. What is the b? All right, so let's find out what the value of b is. Uh, we can, in this case, if you want to, before you multiply 11 times 3, you could reduce this, divide this by 3, you get 3. 3 here divided by 3, you get 1. So what do we have? We have, let me do it in a different color. We have 7 equals 2. 11, 11 times 1 is 11 over 3 equals to b. We're almost there. Just look at all the work that we have to do in order for us to find um, the v, the b value. All right, so now what do I do? Well, I need to do the following. This number, which is positive, I'm going to move it over to the other side. It's right here. So now it's ne 7 negative, 7 minus 11 over 3. All right, so that's what I need to do. Once I do that, that's going to be my B, B value. So this is a, a review. How do you subtract this how do you do that when i'm multiplying or subtracting them all right so i'm gonna cross multiply right here you get 21 minus 1 times 11 is 11 then 3 times 1 is 3 so that would be 10 over 3. This is my value of B. Okay, so if you need to review how to add or subtract fractions, please do so because this is going to be critical when we get to this uh, type of exercises. So what is my answer after all of this? Well, my B is 10 over 3. All right, so the answer will be Y equals to 11 over 9 X plus 10 over 3. Yes, over 3. And that's it. There you have your equation of what line? Of this line. Okay? So this is going to take some practice. Um, do as many as you can. There's a lot of little details that you need to be mindful of. Like, for instance, what happens when you multiply two negative numbers? Well, it turns into positive. Okay, this is your slope. Can you reduce at that point? In this case, you cannot, so then you continue. Then you write the equation in this form. Notice that the only thing unknown is the B. We select, we have two points that we chose on this line, but we only select one of them. I chose this one. Could I have chosen this one? Yes, you could have. And the answer would have been exactly the same. So either way uh, works. Okay. Now, one, once I chose three and negative uh, and seven, three and seven, what did I do with it? Well, this is the y, and this here became the three here. Now, again, I keep simplifying. I keep doing basic stuff, and there you have it. Okay. The fact that you have to subtract 7 minus 11 over 3, and that gives you 10 over 3, it kind of worries me because at this point, we expect students to know that, but that's okay if you don't because then what only that only means that you're going to have to review more basic stuff that other students. It's okay. Everybody learns at a different rate. Everybody brings different knowledge into the classroom. The point is that when this class is over, everyone's supposed to be knowing, supposed to know the same things. All right, now I'm going to do another exercise. This time, I'm going to give you some facts. Okay. 
two lines are parallel if they have the same slope. Line one and line two. The slope, in order for them to be parallel, they have to have the same slope. It's a fact. Then we have two perpendicular lines. And what makes them perpendicular? Uh, that they form a 90 degree, degree angle with the intercept. Okay, 90 degree triangle. And this is for the parallel lines. Parallel lines. Parallel lines. Okay. Now perpendicular. It's better to do it here. How do you know that they're perpendicular? Well, they form a 90 degree angle. But we're not finding angles in this class. Angles is discussed and talked about in another class called trigonometry. How do we know that they're perpendicular? Well, let's say this is line two, line two. They are perpendicular, okay? And this is the notation. This means perpendicular, okay? If and only if sorry about the spelling, their slopes are negative reciprocal of each other. Negative reciprocal. Oh boy, running out of room of each other. Okay. All right. What does that mean? Suppose that the slope of line one and one is two thirds. Okay. Let's assume that for a moment. It's positive, so two thirds is positive. So this line is increasing. In order for L2 to be perpendicular to L1, we need to find the negative reciprocal of two thirds. All right, so what will be the slope of L2? The slope of L2 will be negative. There it is. Because if this is positive, well, the negative reciprocal of it will be negative. Now we just need to find the reciprocal. The reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. Let me repeat again. If the slope of L1, line 1, is 2 thirds, the negative reciprocal of it obviously will be negative. And then you take the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves, and vice versa. In other words, what is the negative recipro reciprocal of negative 3 halves? Well, if this is negative, the negative reciprocal of a negative will be positive. And then the reciprocal of three halves will be two thirds. Those are facts. All right. Remember that. Please take notes. Here's an example. So suppose we have this equation. Okay. I'm going to graph it. I'm going to do it fast. Okay. Y intercept is one, I move two units up, one to the right, two up, one to the right. There's my line, okay? There. And let's say that I have a point. This is all an exercise. Make sure that you know how to do this for the test. Let's say that I have a point here. And I'm gonna call this point uh, three comma negative three. What I want is the following. All of this is provided to you. The graph is something that you can do, but they will provide this equation and they will provide this point. That's part of the exercise. Here's the question. Write the equation. Write the equation of a line. Mm -hmm. 
passing through the point three comma negative three and parallel to the line. This line there. Again, so I apologize for the poor handwriting, but it's very uncomfortable to write uh, on the screen of the laptop. All right. So that's what I want. So they want a new line that passes through here that is parallel, like that. All right. So what do we do now? All right, so clearly the two lines are not the same. They're not the same. So my answer will have the same slope. And why is that? Well, I already said that right here. Two parallel lines have the same slope. So I'm going to borrow the slope from here and use it to make my new equation of the green line. I'm using it. I'm just borrowing it. Notice that I wrote plus b. Well, how do we find the b? Then that is when you plug in this point, similar steps uh, to the ones that we did. Remember the ones that we did two, uh, two points on the line, and from there we found the slope, and then from there we found we pick one of the two points. In this case, you're doing practically the same. You're borrowing the slope from the given line, which is this one, and you're using the only point that you have. You don't have two points this time. You only have one. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so, oh boy, I'm going to do that here. I'm going to erase this. I'm going to replace this y with negative 3. And I'm going to replace the x with 3. This is only done to find the b. So what do we have now? This is easy. 3, negative 3. This gives you 6 plus b. Move the 6 over. Don't forget to switch the sign. So it becomes negative 3 minus 6 equals to b. So what is my b? My b is negative 9. Okay? Negative 9. So what is the final answer then? The final answer will be y equals to 2x minus 9. Okay? And there you have two lines that are very different, but they share the same slope because they're parallel. And you wanted them to be parallel. This is a key word that you have to pay attention to when you are actually doing this type of exercises. Okay? All right. So now we're going to do exactly the same, but this time we want it to be parallel, perpendicular, sorry, perpendicular. Okay? There it is. And the point is over here. So my new line now will be like this, perpendicular. Okay, this is a 90, right here is a 90 degree angle. All right, so what do we do? Well, now I need a new slope. L2 is my new line. What would be the slope of L2? L2 will be the slope of L2 will be equals to the negative reciprocal of this equation, of this line. So what is the reciprocal of 2? Actually, it's 1 half, right? Now, this is positive. That means that this has to be negative. We have to have opposite signs. If one is positive, the other one has to be negative and vice versa. So there it is. That's my slope. So here is the new equation. 
plus b. You see that? By only changing the slope, instead of writing 2, that would have made it parallel. But I don't want it parallel. I want it perpendicular. Perpendicular. Okay. So that's negative 1 half. All right, so what do I do next? Well, what's the point that I have? 3, negative 3. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to write negative 3 come equals to negative 1 half times x is 3 plus b. Then what do you do? You simplify these things. This becomes negative 3 halves plus b. How did I get the negative 3 halves? Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 over 2. This is b, by the way. And then what do I do next? Okay, what do I do next? Let me erase some of this stuff here. Oh boy, oh. You see the difficulty here? Let's see. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move that negative 3 halves to the other side. And when I do that, it turns into 3 halves. How do I add negative 3 plus 3 halves quickly? This is equals to 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2, and then you reduce. That would be uh, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 over 2. So that is my B. Okay, that is my B. So what is my answer after all this mess? So my answer would be y equals to, remember the slope is negative 1 half, x plus or minus the B. In this case, the B is negative 3 halves. So this is the equation of L2. Okay, and there you have two lines that are uh, perpen perpendicular to each other. Okay. And there you have it, guys. This is going to take a lot of practice. There's a lot of little details that needs to be taken care of. So make sure that you reach out to uh, the tutors. Look at the videos that I'm sending. And I wish you well. All right.